fight on a school bus, but could it be part of a much bigger problem? As Project Baltimore's Chris Papps reports, the disturbing video is the latest example of concerns that bus drivers and parents have been voicing over school bus safety. The video is hard to watch. A fight on what we're told is a Baltimore County school bus. As the bus driver yells to stop, one student gets off the bus. The other is bleeding. Absolutely incredible. A, a young, they, first of all, they don't look any more than 10 or 12 years old. Blood coming from his head after being pummeled in the bus. Delegate Nino Mangione represents Baltimore County. How can you drive with that going on? Would you be surprised to see him retire or quit? I don't think so. Absolutely unbelievable. This video was posted on Snapchat March 10th and later sent to Project Baltimore. When we showed it to Mangione, it was the first time he had seen it. And now here's video proof that this type of stuff is happening. <laughs> Hustle 753, primary and secondary schools, bus driver wages. Six days after that video was posted online on March 16th. Thank you, Madam Speaker. This is a very simple amendment, um, a common sense amendment. Mangione was on the House floor in Annapolis, raising concerns over school bus safety. Across the state, school systems don't have enough school bus drivers, and the delegates were considering a bill to commission a study on wages. That's when Mangione addressed the chamber, asking for an amendment to include school bus violence in the study. I spoke, I'm sorry, about a woman named Alicia Matthews in Baltimore County who had changed careers in order to become a school bus driver. And how she ended up quitting was because of the dangers of unsafe student behavior on her school bus. From the stories that we have at the lot, I'm not the only one that this is happening to. This is Alicia Matthews. When she spoke with Project Baltimore in February, Mangione was watching. The kids were vaping on the bus. A child called me a, a B-I-T-C-H. The child was really aggressive try to charge at me. They went through water bottles where I'm driving down the street and a water bottle is under my foot where the kids were hanging outside of the bus from the mirrors. Matthew said she recently quit her job as a Baltimore County school bus driver, not because of the pay, but because her safety was at risk and her repeated reports to school leaders were ignored. If we're going to look at bus drivers shortages. I think it is important to look at all of the issues not just the financial ones. During the hearing in Annapolis, opponents to Mangione's amendment said most evidence show bus driver shortages are driven by insufficient wages. As you all go throughout your district, you hear from parents all the time about the bus driver shortage. You hear from your school, your local school system about bus driver shortage. Um, you didn't hear about the behavior on the, the actual bus itself. Madam Speaker. When the vote came down, Mangione's amendment died. The amendment fails. By a vote of 48 to 90, mostly along party lines. Every Republican in the House voted for it. All but seven Democrats voted against it. It's absolutely shameful to think that we couldn't get a simple amendment done, very simple, that said just study whether or not behavioral issues are a concern to the bus drivers. Hey, don't yell. Look at my as videos like this surface online, Mangione is pushing forward. He's introducing emergency legislation to try to get a study commissioned on school bus violence. He says if it doesn't pass before the end of session in a few weeks, he will try again next year. These things are together. They're, they're, you can tie them in safety and you tie in wages because we know from your reporting that safety is a concern straight from a bus driver in Baltimore County. We cannot risk the safety of the students, the drivers, and the people on Maryland roads that are at risk if a fight breaks out in a bus and causes an accident. I'm Chris Pabst, and this is Project Baltimore. And, you know, we've been talking about the bus driver shortage. It is a big problem for school systems across the country, not just here in Maryland. So far, lawmakers in Annapolis have supported legislation to look at bus driver shortages, but not violence. And they're looking at wages for sure. We want to hear from you. Do you support emergency legislation to conduct a study on school bus violence? Go to foxbaltimore.com slash vote. Click on the Pulse tab to weigh in.